In today's video, we are going to swatch this My Mary Blue set. I got this at a very good deal. You might have seen this in the previous um, art haul video. So I got this actually for only $32, but I think it's still on sale at around $39. So I'm just going to put the link below and try to check it from time to time. Maybe it will go back on sale. So we have five colors here. And it's Cadmium Yellow Deep, Quinacridone Lake, Green Gold, Ultramarine Deep, and Paints Grey. For the paper, I'm gonna use this again, this potent shade paper. Um, so I already did a review on this paper in my previous video, so you can check it out. Um, since I'm just swatching this, um, this paint, I just wanted to use this cheaper paper first. And maybe we can paint some flowers. Okay, then I'm gonna look for some floral inspiration from this co a book called Flower Color Theory. Let's just try to browse through it. Alright, so I have the colors here. I'm just gonna quickly swatch it on the left side. So it's a very creamy paint. This is Cadmium Yellow Deep. nice vibrant color next let's try um, this is the quinacridone lake you can see it's so nice it's spreading really well on wet surface so this is like a purplish pink color but it's not like it's not super vibrant we have green gold. I super love green gold. And this color looks very nice from this brand. I love this because it's like a pop of color in your bouquet. Next, we have ultramarine deep. Okay, so there's a little bit of green in my brush, but that's okay. It's also nice. And then lastly, um, also one of my favorite colors is Paints Grey. So this is nice because it's, it can go opaque, which is something that I look for in a paint brand. Because sometimes I like opaque um, details. But some paint brands um, are just too trans lucent or transparent this one looks okay all right so we're just going to paint on the right side all right so i changed my mind i feel like it's at a small space so we're going to shift to my bow home paper so this is seven by ten inches and i don't know why but this arrangement is really beautiful but the colors of are of course different from the colors that we have in our palette so we're just gonna change things up but I'm gonna take inspiration from this arrangement. I'm gonna start with this quinacridone lake. So this is just my size 8 black velvet brush. As you can see that this color is actually a little bit deep. It's not a vibrant purplish pink color. Just add some more water. A little bit of this paint gray. 
add it in the center. Next, let's grab this green gold. my brush and kind of um, fade away some of the strokes okay so that color is too dark but it's okay it's a nice experiment that we're doing okay so I think you can try to mix these two colors and make our own green let's see We have a little bit of green in there, but it looks slightly muddy. But anyway, it's okay. We're just going to experiment today. So I think because Canyon Yellow Deep is a little bit opaque, um, we have this kind of opaque green color as well. I'm just going to add some more water and maybe a little bit of that paint spray. So I also added a little bit of wash here. So I think we need kind of a pastel color. I'm gonna add this yellow here. Maybe a little bit of that green. when you add a little bit of white gouache to your painting kind of um, brings softness to your painting and you can add some smaller buds here my smaller brush okay, I'm gonna add more contrast let's mix this ultramarine ultramarine and paint gray and paint some smaller berries Just rinse our brush. Hold your brush towards the end of the handle to like create some more expressive strokes. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of blue over here. Okay, let's grab some more of this Grenacridone Lake. Maybe we can bring back some detail to this flower. So 
you can see that this flower is actually still wet and the details are just um, kind of mixing with the first layer so I'm just gonna clean it up and I'm just going to just fade it away and it's all still a little bit wet Add some more texture in. I'm just going to stamp my brush, create these small strokes. Now let's add some more details. So it this arrangement looks a little bit different from like what I paint. So it's also interesting to see how to paint with like limited color palette. Let's grab this paint spray. I'm gonna add it to my um, Quinacridone Lake. It's gonna give me this really nice deep purple color. Okay, so this layer is already dry. It looks a lot better than a while ago. I think I'm done with this painting. Um, so it feels a little bit weird to use all of these colors in one painting. I probably would try to add something else. But I do love like this effect. It looks very soft and loose. But I mainly actually got this set because I wanted to add more uh, my Mary Blue colors in my palette. So I am happy with some of the colors. Well, with Quinacridone Lake, I was hoping it would be just slightly brighter because the color looks a little dull for me. Or I don't know if that is really just the characteristic of the paint. And then um, for like paint gray, paint gray is great. It's really dark and rich in color. I love that. So green gold is also bright but I feel like I've tried other brands with like brighter green golds so I guess if you like a more um, not really muted but just not as bright green gold I guess you can try out my Mary Blue so I guess those are the colors that really stood out in this set to be honest with my Mary Blue I'm still adjusting to the texture of the paint because it something different about it i i don't know how i can point it out but it has that really um kind of glossy feel to it as you paint with this brand but i guess i just need more time to use this uh, paint brand but i'm happy that i was able to try it using uh, my mary blue in a bouquet like this so what are your thoughts about this paint brand? Let me know in the comments down below. So guess this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you can subscribe to my channel to support my channel and also like this video. That's it. Bye!